Good morning, comrades. I just finished having breakfast with my mom. She prepared my favorite breakfast of all time, which is called mikitsi, which is sort of like fried dough. And you can eat it with jam, chocolate, cheese, anything you want, basically. And it's delicious. Um, tomorrow I leave for Sofia. And from there we leave for Barcelona. So today I'm gonna get my driver's license changed. I'm gonna pack and uh, I'm gonna show you how I get ready for my super improvised two days, three days trip to Barcelona. Um, and maybe I'll show you around my town. So stay tuned. Okay, that's done. I have the driver license now. Um, and now I'm going to see my mom. I'm going to my mom's workplace uh, because I want to pick up some ingredients to make a cake. I'm not sure I'll be able to do it. I don't know if I'll have enough time, but I'm heading there now. Maybe we'll grab some coffee as well. And this is the central part of the city. Okay, so after the coffee, I had to rush home. Unfortunately, I couldn't get all the um, the ingredients for the cake, so I'm not going to make a cake. Just finished packing. I just have a backpack and a, 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 a bag full of clothes. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure what I'm going to take. I'm about to have dinner with my family. And then... Tomorrow I leave for Sofia at 6.30 a.m. And then the next adventure begin. I am very excited about going to Barcelona. Before bed, I'm just gonna look up at uh, some transportation um, just to make sure I know how to get from the airport to the hotel. Uh, and I'm also gonna look at some tickets for attractions. Very important trip for me emotionally and um, as a challenge uh because it's it's my first solo trip so let's see what happens <laughs> This is how you mm -hmm, this is how you eat uh, this dish. You you put some yogurt, you tap it in the yogurt and it's really really good. This is a salad. Hi guys, I'm talking to you from the future at the moment as I edit this video. At this point I had just had dinner with my family for the last time during my visit and I was feeling a bit sad so I thought hey I will buy tickets for my upcoming trip which is in three days for the different sites that I want to visit but I was very emotional and I was meaning to show you how I booked the tickets but I thought it was not very sufficient so I will do it again right now um, and I will be able to give you some actual tips on booking the tickets being that I already actually went there at this point my first tip is to buy the tickets from the original websites of the sites you want to visit, not from a tour agency website, simply because it's more secure. Um, the next tip I have is try to do it at least two months prior to your visit, not like me three days before, because the tickets go out fast. These are incredible historical places everybody wants to see them but mostly because if you want to get a guided tour the language that you might be using might not be available i will make sure to leave um, the links for the websites i have used in the description below let's start with the Scrada familia 
So Sagrada Familia has several types of tickets. If you go to the ticket section, you'll be able to see them. The first one is a general entry. That's the cheapest ticket you can get. It's with an app audio guide. You have to find the number in the Sagrada Familia. Click the corresponding number from the audio guide and it will tell you more details about that specific place. The next type is a tour guide um, entry where you have someone obviously explaining to you. Um, and this that's the one I recommend because you never want to just look at things. You would want to know what you're looking at. That one is slightly more expensive. That's 30 euros. The next type and the one I personally was aiming for, but it was not available in English, is uh, a guided tour and a visit to one of the towers, which is 40 euros. Um, this one, I feel like it's the best one. Um, but as I said, if you don't book it in time, it's possible that you might not have availability in your language. And these are the languages that you can have. The next ticket is... Um, an entry with an audio guide and visit to one of the towers which is the one i got for 36 euros um, and once you click on your ticket let's say it's this one and you click on a date you want bear in mind that the towers might not be available as well sometimes it's just one tower that is available but again you pick the time you want and you pick which type of um, ticket you want and you just continue to payment. You will receive a confirmation email and that's how you can enter the Sagrada Familia. The next site that I visit was Park Güell. It was an amazing place. This is the website. And again, you have several types of tickets. You have general admission, guided tour, private tour, organized tour. I recommend highly the guided tour one even though it's slightly more expensive but you get a person who will explain everything to you in regards to this beautiful beautiful park bear in mind there are several entries so you have to be careful when you purchase your ticket where you need to meet your tour guide uh, and this is a map of the park itself it's really beautiful it's worth visiting for sure this is how you buy it you can click on the type of ticket you want um, and then you go to next, give your information, pick your dates. Uh, once you go to the park, uh, you will meet the tour guide. If you had bought it from this website, it's usually people with blue t-shirts. They give you small radios with um, headphones and you can hear very well what the tour guide is saying. And you just walk around the park and it's amazing. I highly recommend. Moving on to the Picasso Museum. Also worth visiting for sure. Picasso spent a lot of time in Barcelona. So this is an important place for him. He has donated a lot of his paintings to this museum. So if you're a Picasso fan, definitely visit. This is where you can buy the tickets from. You again have a guided tour or tickets with audio guide. The difference I think is one one pound or one dollar one euro so it's worth getting a tour guide because he'll be able to tell you about the different periods of picasso give you some more information keep an eye for a free admission day i think they do it once a month or something like that but if you can't find that one just pick um again an ordinary ticket continue you pick a date as you can see <laughs> they go fast but let's say we pick one for November. And again, you have English. Continue. You pick the time. You continue. And you go to see amazing pictures of Picasso. Highly recommend this museum. It's really beautiful. Next was Palau de la Musica. If you're a fan of music, definitely visit this amazing, architectural, beautiful treasure. There are several types of tickets, guided tour, audio guided tour, self-guided tour with a brochure. I recommend the self-guided tour with a brochure because you get to read about the place, take your time. And mostly because I was not very impressed with the guided tour that I bought Maybe the lady who was leading it wasn't very experienced, but it was close to nothing and it just wasn't worth the price. 
Um, the only difference, I suppose, is that at the beginning of the guided tour, they play a small video for you where you see um, some people giving interviews, some composers, musicians expressing their opinion about this amazing place. But I'd say the, the place itself is very influential and very beautiful. So you can experience it by yourself or with an audio tour just fine. It's very beautiful. Actually, if you have time, definitely try and book a show to see. I really wanted to see the guitar trio, but unfortunately, it was the same day I had booked my um, Sagrada Familia tickets, and that's why I'm telling you, you should definitely book your tickets in time so you can visit as many things as possible. And just to give you a general idea about the placement in the city, you have Parkwell over here. There's transportation, uh, which you can take from Plaza de Catalunya. It's a bus, and it's very easy to get there. Um, then you have Park Citadel, also a very beautiful park worth visiting. Uh, and it's next to the Museum of Picasso, which is located right here in the Gothic Quarter. Then you have the Sagrada Familia, which is also close by to the park. Uh, and then you have Casa Milla. Unfortunately, I couldn't see that one. Uh, but more or less, this is the placement of the city. I stayed in a hotel in this area close to Plaza España. And it was very easy to get to places by using this metro station. Um, and there were a lot of buses as well. Uh, it's also worth visiting W Beach. There is a great nightlife um, there. So definitely try and visit. And that's how it looks like, more or less. It's very easy peasy. Good morning. Okay, some more messages from the future because I realized at this point I'm shooting everything but I'm not explaining what the heck am I doing, where I'm going. So here I am, I had just arrived from the bus station and I'm trying to move around Sofia with the luggage and it's super annoying. I had to switch two buses to get here but look at me, I'm so charming and happy. It's important to be positive in situations like this. So the plan for today is to meet one of my bestest friends ever. I rarely get to meet her because I travel all the time. So I'm going to use this, these few hours to meet her and catch up. Maybe have lunch. She was rehearsing at that time. So I had to move towards uh, the theater where she works. And it was amazing because I got a sneak peek inside. I miss the theater. I love to go to theater. So it was a nice treat for me. After lunch with her, I decided to take a stroll through the streets of Sofia with my luggage. Still heavy, still impossible to carry, but I have the vigor. I love going through these parts of Sofia. This is the church, the cathedral, Alexander Nevsky. It's very beautiful. After that, I went home, I refreshed myself and I went out for dinner with my cousin and it was very fun. We also found a little candy shop that I n didn't know was there before I guess it was new but it was full of so much entertaining decorations and there was a lot of candy and to be honest with you I felt like I was getting fat just by breathing the air in this shop still pretty nonetheless and entertaining for the kids look at that witch look at it very charming good morning it turns out my luggage is too large and I had to, I first decided I should buy a, a bigger backpack to put all of my luggage, which suddenly became very massive. Um, and I tried to look for a bigger, like a hiking bag yesterday. It didn't work out and I thought, 
what the fuck? Why don't I just give 40, 40 pounds for a priority and just buy a normal luggage and save myself all the headache in the world? So that's what I did. Because I also realized last night I went to dinner and spent like 50 levers, which is half the price of the luggage. And I was like, what the hell? Uh, it's not good to be a cheap person. So I'm going out to find a carry-on bag and make my life easier. Because this trip is about being easy. It's about being easy. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna go by the bag now. I'm gonna exchange some euros and then I have some lunch with my cousins and off we go to Barcelona, bitches.